I'm back to give you guys a reading for my beautiful Pisces. I want to say thank you to all my subscribers, all my new subscribers. Welcome. If you haven't already hit that bell button, hit that bell button at the bottom so you can get a notification each time I upload. Somebody is in, um, I'm hearing this beer. What's going on, sussies? What's going on? Oh, I'm sorry. I want to say thank you guys for all your support. For your love, or your likes, share, subscribe, donations. I appreciate every last one of you guys, Sunseeds. Let's get into this reading. Holy Spirit. Sunseeds, watch out. Please block the Holy Spirit. Thank you. Holy Spirit. Ooh. Okay. Holy Spirit. Give me some messages on the current energy for my collective subseeds. Please and thank you. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. This is so random. Somebody could be waking up out of their sleep, talking in their sleep, I'm hearing. Okay, somebody somebody could be talking in their sleep, okay? Wow. Okay, and I cannot make it up. Nightmares, okay? So someone is having nightmares about you, Sun Season. I'm going to take all of these cards that came out. I heard, I know it's mad random, but I heard somebody is waking up out of their sleep, okay? Saying your name. Somebody is definitely having some... I don't know what type of pull or, or, or energy um, that's going on right now, but somebody is definitely waking up out of their sleep, okay? So somebody is not getting no sleep. They have nightmares, okay? Insomnia, paranoia, anxiety, unable to sleep, see things, okay? So this person is seeing a lot of things. If you see this person, this person can also have um, bags under their eyes. Okay, we have boss daddy, Okay. We have stable, rich, business owner, CEO. Okay, this could be you, Sunseeds. You could be in this boss, boss daddy energy. I could be talking to my masculine or my feminine. Take the energy how it resonates. You know, there's no gender in tarot. Anyone can buy this energy. But I feel like you guys are definitely in the... Um, a lot of you guys are in this masculine energy, taking action and bossing up. And someone is having definitely having a lot of... Um, nightmares about you waking up out of your out of their sleep someone could have definitely wrongfully did you and is definitely being haunted we have cyber bully you are being bullied online or they have stuff um i'm sorry you are being bullied online or they are has suffered from an etc so you could have definitely suffered from some type of um cyber bullying okay um could be facebook twitter instagram tiktok okay um Somebody definitely um, could have been um, bullying you for a while um, through social media, okay? This person could be coming out from anonymous pages, okay? Someone could be making, also making fake pages saying mean, rude things to you um, out of jealousy and envy, okay? And definitely bullying you. Somebody don't like the fact that you bossed up and you and you taking um, action. Yeah, I can't make it up, boss bitch. Runs, runs your own business, stable, bu stable busy, and manifesting, period. Period, Sunsy. Period. You got two boss cards. Somebody mad because you bossed up. Period. Okay? Somebody mad. For some of you guys, somebody is mad because you found um somebody of your equal. We got boss daddy and boss bitch, okay? So I'm getting Empress and Empress vibes, okay? You could have found somebody that's doing real right by you. And if, if not now, if this hasn't happened now, this is the energy that's coming in. You know, we still um in a new moon, um a new moon phase right now. Everything is new, new. Okay, closing out cycles that no longer serve you. Okay. We have family issues. Okay. So somebody could definitely be experiencing some type of family issues. Okay. And they seeing you in this boss energy, you know, leveling up overcoming adversity things that people don't your way to try to stop you you ain't you ain't worried about none of that you still kept it moving you focused on yourself you focused on your business a lot of you guys want to open up businesses um spirit is saying it's going to do very well okay a lot of you guys have a business that's doing very well and somebody else is having um 
can't even sleep at night. Somebody is waking up out of their sleep. Whoever this person that was bullying you, okay, family issues, could be somebody in your family, or it could be whoever the just this lover is. But somebody is definitely being haunted by what they've done to you. Yeah, and they're losing a lot. Give me a card on this family issue, Holy Spirit. Family issue. I'm pulling from what's the T, okay, the Wish Tarot. Spirit, give me a um, card on the family issues, please, and thank you for my beautiful collective sunseeds. Please and thank you. Somebody is watching you be a boss, okay? Spirit, give me a card on the family issues, please and thank you. Please and thank you. Okay, so we have grudge holder. Somebody, okay, so somebody in your family, okay, some seems to definitely be holding a grudge against you, okay? Somebody could definitely be very envious of how stable you are. You could have this person blocked. Okay, this person could be trying to contact you. You could be leaving this person on red, ignoring them. Somebody is definitely jealous of you, okay? Could be a family member or could be somebody who you shared the family with. But somebody, who, uh, family issues was clarified with grudge holder. Yeah, spirit is saying it, it's getting played out. It got real played out. So whoever this person is, this could be somebody in your family that always been jealous of you, okay? That likes to hold grudges, um, you know, against you. And you just like, it's the same cycle. I've been dealing with this for years with you. The same cycle over and over and over. This person has always hated the fact that you have always overcome each and every adversity. Um, you don't believe in holding grudges because you feel like, why hold a grudge? If you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not in more, you're not important enough to block my blessings. That's how you feel, Sunsi. So you're like, I'm a boss. I'll be dang if I let you block my blessings. Okay? And who wants to walk around miserable and bitter? Okay? Nobody wants that. Nobody is worthy of that, Sunsees. You are too precious. Okay? You are divine. Okay? Any other, Anything other than divine is, is just like light. It's too much light. And light always outbeat the dark. Okay? You ain't got time for none of that. Somebody is, who, somebody, whoever in your family are, is in the dark. Okay? Holding a grudge against you. Seeing you level up. Okay, and somebody is mad, and spirit is saying it's played out. You walked away; it's, it's really played out. Okay, somebody is is upset with the fact that you have changed, you have grown, you have bossed up. Okay, and they waking up out they sleep thinking about you. Okay, somebody is being haunted. Spirit is reminding this person of what they have done to you. Okay, somebody don't like the fact that you bossed up and you change. Okay. Whoever this person is, this person is still stuck in the past, still holding a grudge. Um, this could this not this not too much off topic, but um, statistics says that every five to ten years, um, human, you know, um, people change. Every five to ten years, statistics says that people change. Okay, so whoever this person is that holding a grudge, just think, Sunsi, whoever this individual is, they have never changed. This could be somebody that you know since you was a kid and they still the same as an adult. This is somebody that does not change, okay? This is somebody that envies you for always changing and elevating and growing. And, and this person looks at it, look at you like, I have did everything in my power to knock you down, make you feel insecure, okay? You have still found peace, okay, in your life. You have still found some type of a grounding where you are able to heal yourself. And somebody is holding a grudge against you. And spirit is like, it's played out, okay? It's getting real played out. Somebody hates the fact how much peace you have, okay? Somebody also don't like how creative you are and how unbothered you are, okay? This is somebody, creativity muncher, um, tries to steal your ideas, copies your work. So this is somebody who who likes to steal... Um, Still, I heard still your identity, so take that how it resonates. Um, this is somebody that tries to be just like you. This is somebody that, that does not have no true identity, does that, that does not have no creativity. They look at you and watch everything you do and imitate it because they don't have that. And they see you have that, okay? But see, one thing they can, you know, what Spirit is saying, what people can do, they can try to copy you, but they can never copy your heart and your energy. And this person is just... just just stop, okay? And you constantly, constantly, sun sees, always unbothered. Like, I'm here like, poof, be gone, okay? So, yeah. Okay, so let's put some more cards. I'm going to clarify. 
Spirit, give me a card on the... I want to pull a card. Give me a card on the side of Holy, Holy Spirit for my sun seeds. Cyber bully. And this doesn't necessarily, it says family issues, but take the, it, take the energy how it resonates to your story. If this not a family member, this could be somebody who you shared a family with, okay? Somebody, this could be a lover who you shared the family with that you're no longer with, that you have bossed up, found someone else, okay? Because a lot of times people really don't understand. There can be your lover, someone who you sleep with every night, or who you used to sleep with could be the enemy, could be jealous of your level up, okay? Some people don't like to see people grow. Some people will try to dampen with your confidence, okay? Some people want to keep you small because they see where you're going. Spirit, what's the type of bullying? A type of bullying. Thank you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> Impersonator. Wants to be you, acts like you, dress like you, look like you, copy you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Sun seeds. So whoever this type of bully is, somebody who kept bothering you, making fake pages, you know, trying to bully you, trying to knock you off your focus, trying to knock with your confidence, trying to make you insecure, was clarified with impersonator. Wants to be you, acts like you, dress like you, looks like you copy you, okay? For some of you guys, this could be a sister, a cousin, Okay, um, someone who, I'm getting energy of someone who was very close to you at one time, okay? Somebody envies you, and they put on a very good friend, okay? For some of you guys, this is a, a, a close friend who you consider family. For others of you guys, this is somebody who you shared a relationship with, that you see that this person was jealous of you, and you pulled your energy back. And this person didn't like that, so they holding a grudge against you, okay? They holding a grudge against you because you put your energy back, because you see that this person was not growing. You guys have felt someone of your vibration. A lot of you guys are vibrating so high to where you don't even notice this energy, okay? And that's how it's supposed to be, because when you vibrate high, you don't see these low vibrational energies. That's why... I'm just a messenger, okay? That's why, you know, you have um, spiritual guides, you know, um, you know, people, spiritual gurus, and, 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 and um, you got tarot readers, spiritual guidance. You come to get spiritual guidance because for people to, you know, um, let you know about issues like this, okay, that's going on around you, okay? But a lot of you guys vibrate too high. Y'all don't even see this. But the cyber bullying is coming from somebody who wants to be just like you, who wants to act like you, who wants to dress like you, who wants to copy you because they see you as a boss. Okay, but this person, like I said in the beginning, and this is mad random, but um, it wasn't really random because obviously my spirit guys wanted you to notice. Someone is having nightmares. Somebody is, somebody is waking up out of their sleep thinking about you, okay? Somebody is having bad, bad... I heard in the beginning, somebody is talking in their sleep as well. And for nightmares to come out... Come on, something. Somebody is not doing too well. All right? They're not. Okay? For a lot of you guys, we have um, incarcerated. This person will be incarcerated. Okay? But this could be somebody also that had you in a love triangle with a third party, which was a karmic. Okay? Or somebody who had multiple lovers at one time. Okay, but somebody sees you as um, a queen, you rising up, okay? We have queen rising, stepping into your power, being praised, want to come up in the spotlight. Somebody don't like that. Somebody who had you in a love triangle with a third party with a low vibrational karmic is trapped in their head, constantly thinking about you. Whoever this obsessive lover is, I said, in their head, constantly thinking about you and what comes out in their head. I cannot make it up. Somebody is jealous. Somebody is very jealous. Let's clarify it with the tarot sun seeds. That's not your fault. That is not your fault. Somebody is definitely very... Yeah, somebody is jealous because you're a star. Okay? What is seven breaking down to an eight? Very abundant. Somebody doesn't like that. Okay? Somebody doesn't like that you're a star. Okay? You have healed yourself. Okay? You have, you have a lot of faith. Okay? You have faith. When everything was going on, when these people was um, trying to play you out, you know, bully you, and throw taxes your way, okay? You had hope, you had faith, 
okay? You are very inspirational, I'm hearing as well. You have a lot of self-confidence about yourself. Um, with this star card, it gives me creativity. You know, wishes coming true. Um, a very healing energy, okay? Somebody don't like the fact that you have the beauty, the, the, the brains, the luck, the fame, okay? You have all of that, okay? And the Spirit is saying, if you feel like you don't have that right now, with the chariot, it's coming in, okay? It's coming in. It's coming in for you because you deserve it. Somebody really tried to break you. Spirit, give me a card on these nightmares. Nightmares, please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Um, for some of you guys, you guys like to dance. That's the way of you guys releasing um energy that don't that just that just doesn't serve. Somebody likes to dance. I don't know who this for, but somebody likes to dance. Somebody constantly moves their body around. Somebody just feel free. Okay, so the nightmares are clarified with the two of wands. Okay, somebody mad because you decided to make a wise decision and just leave this person behind. And this person is constantly being haunted. Okay, you decided to take the path of the higher road. When, they, when these people was going low, you never went low. You went high, okay? When they go low, you go higher, okay? And somebody don't like the fact that you always constantly with this two of wands making wise decisions, okay? You know when to pull your energy back, okay? You know when to stay, you know when to go, okay? A lot of you guys have traveled away from this energy, and I feel like you guys have definitely traveled to the lighter side because this energy was very dark. Somebody was very dark. If you look at if you look at all of this black, Okay, this red. You see this woman in this white dress looking out there like somebody decided to go. <laughs> somebody said, no, mm -mm. I'm going to walk to the light and leave you in the dark. Okay. And now somebody is being haunted because you decided to make a decision to leave them behind. Okay. Whoever, this could be somebody who you was in a partnership with. Okay. Anyway, give me, give me another card on the two of wands and nightmares. Please. Thank you. Somebody is a, somebody likes to dance. Yeah, we have five of cups. I can't make it up to you. Somebody's in sad. Somebody's sad. They're in grief. Um, they're in regret. Somebody's feeling the loss of you, um, of you leaving it behind. Like I said earlier, I heard this um despair. Somebody is definitely in despair um about this heartbreak. They are, Sunsteads, because you decided to make a wise decision to choose yourself and walk in the light because you seen that this person was jealous. You seen that this person was envious. You could have tried to tell people, if this is a family situation, um, somebody in your family, you could have warned other family members that this person was jealous of you, what they was doing, okay, trying to take you down. For some of you guys, I'm hearing they did it for clout, okay? For others, um, who you was in a relationship with, um, you could have, um, you know, mentioned it to this person. You know, I feel like you're, you know, you, not saying that, that you probably didn't mention to your old this lover that you were jealous, but you could have said, you know, um, where I'm going, you know, I'm doing this for us. I'm doing this for our family. You know, I'm doing this. I, I, I'm trying to be. I'm trying to level up. I'm trying to be a better version of myself for um, for our family. But whoever this lover is or family member is, they didn't take it that way. Somebody felt like, who do you think you are? You you, you want to be? You think you're better than us, okay? Or you're gonna leave us behind? Somebody who's very insecure, okay? Because with this imper cyber bully being clarified with the impersonator, wants to be like you, acts like you, dresses like you. Anybody that tries to act and be like somebody else is definitely in a shadow side. There is a lower vibrational energy because when you under divine. And you truly, truly have done the shadow work on yourself, okay? And have walked through the dark night of the soul. You have truly loved and embraced who you are. All the indifferent in you, you wear that like a charm, okay? Because you know that makes you beautiful, okay? You are chosen for a reason. And most cho chosen ones, they are very gifted. They are, they are, they are, they are, uh, they, they are an energy that you do not see every day. Most of them um, grow up with, with karmic families, have a lot of karmic lovers. Okay, a lot, they usually always under 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 attack because of their their higher purpose and where it can take them. And somebody just did not understand. Somebody took it as you um 
you know, you 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 thinking you better. You gonna boss up. You going you gonna lead them behind. You gonna be this. You gonna be that. So somebody wanted to, to try to pretend to be just like you. But now I'm hearing energies are seeing that this person is is copying you. Okay. But yes, yeah, spirit is saying whoever this energy is, they are definitely in grief. They are in despair. Um, somebody is definitely heartbroken because you decided to leave them behind and make wise decisions. Somebody is not um, taking this breakup very well. Okay. Somebody feels like it was a very unwelcome and change. Okay. Somebody is um, definitely feeling isolated. Okay. Somebody feels like you don't want nothing to do with them. Okay. Nine of Cups. Okay. Could definitely be a relationship. I feel like you told whoever this energy is, you just somebody is just with this boys, boys, um, being boys, daddy. I feel like somebody just got you got in the energy. It was like I can't wait forever. I can't wait for you to grow up and change. Like I said at the beginning, the statistic says that every five to ten years, people change. Whoever this individual is, they've been the same for years. Nothing changes about them. This person is missing you. Something has completed. Two and five break down to a seven. Seven speaks about completion. Okay? The seventh day. Okay? Seven talks about completion. Spirit, give me a card on this, boy, B. Yes, this boy B is clarified. Look, run your own business, stable, busy, manifest it. You chariot, you move forward. You move forward. For some of you guys, it can be this can be a Scorpio or a Cancer. Somebody is jealous of you. If this not their sign, this can be your sign. Flip flop the road, take it how it resonates. But this is what's out here: Scorpio and Cancer. Okay, somebody is mad because you move forward with your life. Somebody don't like the fact that how ambitious you is, how you constantly getting victory. You have control over your life, how determined you are, how you always overcoming obstacles and land right into your success. Somebody doesn't like that. Four pinnacles. Okay, somebody who you held back from. Give me another call, Holy Spirit, on the um, fourth be a chariot, please and thank you. Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Queen of Cups. Okay? Somebody who is very highly intuitive. Okay? Very mature woman. Okay? Somebody doesn't... Somebody doesn't like how... How nurturing, love, and caring. Very intuitive. Okay? I feel like you guys' intuition is on 100. Okay? And with this Queen of Cups in the Chariot... Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Um, we have a lot of water sign energy out here. Your energy told you to move. Your your um, you being so intuitive, your intuition told you to move forward from this energy. Okay, when when everybody around you didn't believe you when you was trying to tell them how this energy was so dark to you, um, you decided to listen to your intuition and take the journey on you know with on self. Okay. Yes, you're very intuitive, you're creative, you're a visionary person, okay? I feel like you was a mother figure to this person. You was very loving, caring, and nurturing. And this person tried to make you out to be something that you was completely not, okay? With this um, King of Pentacles, with this boss daddy, I feel like um, it had everything to do with your wealth. Somebody didn't like the fact that you was very abundant. I can't make it up with the high priestess. Somebody doesn't like the fact that um, you use your intuition a lot, Okay, somebody does not like the fact that um, you have um, you have wisdom, spiritual insight. Okay, you have um, spiritual wisdom. Okay, you know secrets that are hidden. Okay, you know you you have you know the unknown. Okay, so when these other families and these lovers, um, friends, whoever didn't didn't believe you when you were trying to tell them that this person was jealous of you, um, they didn't have the wisdom that you had. You're chosen, your spirit guides, your ancestors. God gave you the wisdom to move away with the chariot from this person. Okay? They teamed up with people that never liked you anyway and talked about you. Okay? Cyber bullied you, hated on you. You had the spiritual wisdom. 
okay, to move away from this person because you knew this person was a liar, they was a snake, and they wanted to be just like you, okay? With this page of wands, I feel like you're receiving a lot of uh, messages and downloads when it comes to this person, okay? And you decided to move forward. Give me a card on the um, Holy Spirit. Give me a card on the um, King of Pentacles. Somebody knows I like how how loyal you, how you can, how how powerful you are, how you can create an empire. That's why we got this boss be boss daddy out here. You know, somebody doesn't like the fact that um how you can create um, you know um an empire. You know, somebody who's very wealthy, a business owner. Okay, somebody who's very disciplined when it comes to you know the things that you want. Okay. I feel like um, even though the King of Pentacles is usually uh, a masculine energy, but you see how this, uh, there's a woman on this card? I feel like this is a woman who's carrying a lot of masculine energy and just know how to take action when it comes to their life. And somebody just jealous of that. Somebody who wants to be just like you. Give me another card on the King of Pentacles, Holy Spirit. But I feel like you got somebody that came into your life that wants to, um, you know, take action with you. Somebody is jealous of that. We have the Eight of Wands. Okay. I feel like um and things, you know, things take taking off for you in your life with the eight of wands. Okay, somebody's coming in quick, okay? Somebody that's of your vibration. You have to leave these low vibrations not low vibrational energies behind in order to get that. Okay, but something is definitely coming in fast for you, okay? Some type of action. A lot of you guys could be traveling at this time. For some of you guys you could be on vacation right now. But something definitely have changed, okay? I feel like Cupid Arrows has strike, okay? You guys are definitely in love, okay? Or will be if you're not now. But somebody has definitely sparked your, um, mm, <laughs> sunsees. Somebody has definitely sparked your interest, okay? Um, yeah. Somebody likes your feistiness as well. Somebody loves how loving and caring. Um, somebody also admires, um, you being this high priestess. Somebody loves how in intuitive you are, okay? Somebody thinks it's cool, it's dope. Um, if you're a psychic, somebody thinks that that's real dope. Um, somebody is not intimidated by that. Somebody actually appreciates having someone like you by your side. Um, if you're somebody who just, you know, highly intuitive and just always uses your intuition and knows things before it happens, you know, just always sharp with it. Like, you know, somebody loves the fact that, um, you know, they got somebody like your side, you know, who has that spiritual insight. Okay. Because they feel like, you you know, you look out for them. You know, you know, you, you have their best interest. This is not somebody that's intimidated by that. Your past, you have to leave behind. Okay. All right, yeah, temperance, okay? Earth angel, okay? You're an earth angel. And somebody could have wanted to have you stuck. We have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio out here, Sagittarius, Pisces again, Taurus. Um, but somebody could have wanted to have you stuck because you're so beautiful. You're a powerful manifester. Somebody didn't like that, okay? Somebody did not like that. Somebody knew that you were going to become a star. Somebody knew you were going to become a star. Ace of Swords, Spirits, and that's the damn truth. Okay? And I feel like um, somebody didn't want some truth to be revealed about them. Okay? So they made lies. They talked about you. They held grudges against you to keep you away. Because it was easy to keep you away um, and, and make these rumors and gossip about you. So, you know, so they won't look like... They won't look like the person that was, you know, the copycat, okay? Or the person that was jealous of you because they weren't, um, they weren't capable of, um, making these life changes like you did. They're weak in the spirit. But spirit said it should just get played out, okay? Spirit, give me a card on the cyber bully. Cyber bully, please and thank you. I feel like when they went low, sun sees you and high. And you made a wise decision. And you bossed up. Yeah. Cyber bully is clarified with the tower. Okay. Scorpio energy. Okay. But it's, it's definitely. It, it's something that's about to change. It's definitely a sudden change. Because a lot of chokos going on. Okay. This tower. Okay. Is definitely. Is going to shake things up. Okay. Um, Somebody doesn't see it happen. Okay. They don't. Okay. 
Seven is towards the Ace of Swords, okay? Some type of truth is going to be revealed about who this sneaky, um, you know, lying, manipulating energy was, okay? It is. The cyber bully is playing foul with the towel. This person who was bullying you is going through a towel moment. They can't even sleep. They're waking about they sleep. They talking and they sleep. I'm hearing talking and they sleep, waking about they sleep, uh, thinking about you, okay? The things that they have done to you, okay? The lies, the manipulation, the hate, the jealous. Somebody just can't stand you, I'm hearing. Give me another card on the cyber bullying in the tower. Thank you, and please, Holy Spirit. Let me light some more of my stage, shall I see it? Okay, so Spirit, give me another card on the cyber bully in the tower, please. And thank you. This person's going through a tower moment. Somebody is <laughs> I'm hearing your peace of mind. Okay. Somebody tried to somebody wanted you to be all over the place. I'm hearing your peace of mind just bothers this person. Just your peace of mind. Somebody wanted to mess with your confidence. Okay? We have the page of swords. This is somebody, yeah, I can't make it up. Cyber bully and Page of Swords. What is Page of Swords? Somebody who studies you. Somebody who watches you, okay? They watch everything you do, Sunseeds. This is a very dark energy that you had to move away from. This is somebody that's constantly spying on you, gossip, gossiping on you, okay? Try to delay good things, you know, for come, try to delay good things coming in your life. But this person is now is experiencing a tower delays in their life. Because they thought they was real clever. But they didn't know how much protection you had over you. Okay? This is somebody, when you try to, like, let them know, like, I know what you're trying to do. This is somebody that to get real, real defensive, very argumentative. Because they know they was in their room. And they didn't like the fact that you could see right through them. Mm. And for a lot of you guys, this can be a male. Somebody that you was in a relationship with, okay, was jealous of you. That wanted to be just like you. Ugh. This person could like, the, you know, also could like the same sex because, you know, it's giving me an energy. Take it how it resonates, okay? And this is a masculine, um... Also, this, you know, the masculine, this is a masculine that op op operates more in their feminine, okay? But in, but they have a jealous spirit, okay? What well, we have? Five of Pentacles, okay? Oh, my goodness. So this is somebody that feels rejected by you. Um, this is somebody that's dealing with a lot of financial hardship, um, experiencing a lot of loss, worry. This person is worrying and waking about in their sleep. I heard talking in their sleep, Okay. This is somebody that has a lack mindset, always negative, always, always thinking negative. You could be the, the most positive person, Sun Seeds, and be in this energy and, and always being positive. This is somebody that will find something negative about everything. This is somebody that always trying to find a negative um, um, conversation to bring up. And you're like, well, where did that come from? This is this person. This is somebody that struggles a lot, alone, okay? Feeling left out in the cold, Okay? But I feel like you went through some type of ascension, okay? And it caused you to be very strong, okay? And decided to make a final judgment when it came to this person. And you decided to work by yourself and stand on your own with the nine of pentacles. Because you knew whoever this person was, this person wasn't real right for you. This is somebody that feels rejected by you. Left out in the cold, okay? But five of pentacles are very, very low vibrational energy, Okay? Yeah, and with this nine of I can't make it up. <laughs> nine of Pentacles with the Fool card and the Lovers. Okay, whoever you left behind, okay, you decided to take a leap of faith. Okay, for some of you guys, you have found new love. I don't see the Ace of Pentacles out here, but um, I see Boss B and Boss Daddy. These are two high vibrational em energies: Empress and, and um, Empress and um, Empress and Emperor. 
Okay, this is what's coming in for you with the chariot. I asked Spirit, what's the boss being a boss daddy? Clarify with the chariot. This is what's coming in for you. You guys definitely been single for a while. You know, very self-sufficient. Um, you know, been free. You know, just achieving your goals and being rewarded. Okay, having a lot of financial independence. With this food card, it lets me know that you guys are risk takers. Okay, you, you don't mind taking a leap of faith. You guys use your intuition. Okay, um, I feel like, you know, with this leap of faith... It makes you feel free. It makes you feel peaceful. Okay, um, a lot of you guys could find yourself in um, in nature a lot because you feel like you know grounding yourself is very healing for you. Okay, but a lot of you guys don't mind walking into the unknown. You guys are very adventurous. You guys are um, always um, starting, you know, new new beginnings. I'm talking to someone who's very free spirited. Okay, doesn't mind taking a leap of faith. Somebody who's very spontaneous with their life. Um, and for some of you guys with the lovers. Um, you know, you guys have to leave somebody behind with this child of finish because you had to walk away. Because this was not somebody that was, you know, on your side. And by you doing that, you have somebody that's coming in. Spirit, give me a card on a person that wants to be like you, act just like you, please. And thank you, Holy Spirit. And please and thank you. Ace of Cups. I can't make it up. What did I say? I see the Ace of Cups in my third eye. You guys have new love. Okay, you guys have new love. You guys have new beginnings. For some of you guys, it's a newfound love that you have for yourself. Okay? And for others, you guys have new love with this boss beat and boss daddy. Somebody of your vibration. Because whoever you leave it behind, they were jealous of you. They were very jealous of you. This is who you're supposed to be with. Two bosses. Two bosses. Builds an empire. Okay? Not somebody who's watching this to, to see how they can take you down. But you have the Ace of Cups. You have new love out here. For some of you guys, it's just a newfound love, a, a new independence that you have for yourself. Okay? But this but this Ace of Cups, this new love is going to bring, that you're taking a leap of faith on, it's going to bring in a lot of new beginnings. Okay? Um, emotions are going to be running high. Okay? I feel like this person um, embraces everything about you, doesn't judge you, um, loves you for who you are. I feel like this is going to be a relationship, uh, a very abundant relationship, okay? For some of you guys, you are in the first stages of this relationship, okay? It's definitely going to lead to marriage, Spirit is saying, okay? But I feel like this person sparks your creativity, okay? This is beautiful. But whoever this person that wanted to be, just be just like you, could be a Pisces, okay? Um, somebody doesn't like the fact that you have it all, okay? They just don't. They hold a grudge. They hold a grudge. They don't like what I said. They don't like the fact that you have it all. They don't like the fact that you have it all. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Self sufficient. Okay? Wealthy. Free to do what you want. Very elegant. Financial independence. For a lot of you guys, this is a newfound love that you found in yourself after leaving this hater behind. Ugh. Mm, 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 mm. But some of you guys, you guys are going to marry. You guys get married period. And it, with the Knight of Swords, it's going to come in quick. Okay? It's going to come you come in quick. Okay? And whoever this Cancer, Pisces, um, Seven of Swords that was um, very sneaky and envious of you, is having anxiety all in their head. Okay? This is somebody with the Seven of Wands that you had to set boundaries with. Okay? Yeah, you had to set boundaries with. Okay? With the Seven of Pentacles, that we have here, mm -mm. you had the you had to set boundaries. Somebody decided to invest in themselves. You guys could be seeing seven 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 a lot. A lot of you guys are um, on a road to you know to your riches. Okay, a very abundant. So if you see a seven seven seven. I feel like you guys protected your investments. Okay, and somebody is 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 upset with that. Somebody is upset with that. Okay. Whoever this family member or old lover is. But you guys definitely have um, a relationship, that, a new relationship that's going to bring in a lot of harmony and joy and love. And somebody else is just mad. Period. I said it's going to bring in a lot of harmony, love, and joy. And boom, Ten of Pentacles came out. Okay? Somebody doesn't like the fact that you're just like... <sighs> For a lot of you guys, you, um, you're going to be meeting someone that you're going to marry into money. Oh, wow. Yeah, for a lot of you guys, you're going to be meeting somebody who's very stable or rich, a business owner, CEO. 
also, a lot of you guys are going to marry um, into someone that has um, a lot of money. Um, that comes from a family of legacy. Um, someone who um, has their own business. I feel like you have your own business as well. For most of you guys, um, you guys are going to be just collabing and working together. But um, for somebody, somebody is marrying into a relationship um, that somebody is very, very wealthy. Very wealthy. Very wealthy. Um, I can't stress it enough. Um, people lie every day, be energy in these cars don't lie. Somebody is married into somebody with money. I can't make it up. Six of ones on the bottom spirit. So that's a yes. Okay? That's a yes. Okay, and it's gonna bring in a lot of success with the King of Cups being out here. We have the Queen and the King of Cups. We had the Chariot with the Queen of Cups, and then we have the King of Cups. The Chariot and the Queen of Cups will clarify with the boss B and the boss daddy, and you got the King of Cups. Two people that's gonna be madly in love with each other. A mature woman, a mature man, who both is gonna support each other, uplift each other, be there emotionally, physically, and everything else. Two people that um understands um you, you know, the um, responsibility of, of this leadership role in their life when it comes to their marriage um, and their business. Period. I love it. I love it. <laughs> That's why they mad, son. See, Spirit, give me a card on this family issues. That's why they mad. Yeah, family issues was clarified with the magician. Somebody mad because they can't manipulate you anymore. They just can't. With the page of cups being under the bottom, somebody could be wanting to come back and apologize, okay? Whoever this person is from your family, okay? With the higher firm being here, okay? Somebody who judged you, who put you down. The family issues was clarified with the magician. Whoever you left behind, somebody's just mad because they can't manipulate you anymore. Period, spirit, it's like that. And they being haunted for, for what they did to you. Yeah, we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, somebody who is low vibrational. Um, somebody who's not grounded. Okay, somebody who doesn't have enough confidence to believe in themselves. That's why they want to be like you, dress like you, act like you, imitate everything about you. Because they don't have enough confidence to believe in themselves. This is somebody that's very insecure, that's not grounded. That does not, could be dealing with financial um, issues as well does not have no creativity when it comes to new ideas, starting businesses and nothing. They just like to steal from other people. But with the will of fortune being here, mm -mm, something is definitely changing. Okay? Two of Cups. Your love life is changing. Your, your business is changing. Everything about you is changing. Somebody don't like the fact that how, how beautiful you are. And how, with the um, Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands, it could be multiple females in your family that just don't like how beautiful and how you don't take no shit. You don't take no bull crap. You don't take no bull crap. Somebody jealous because how you take a leap of faith. But it could be multiple people, okay, in your family that's jealous of you, okay? They don't like the fact with the Nine of Cups that you constantly getting your wishes fulfilled. You always being satisfied. You always being happy. You live this luxurious lifestyle. Somebody just doesn't like it. They don't, okay? We have, yeah, somebody doesn't like the Sun card. Your happiness. Somebody don't like how, how prosperous you is, okay? Love, fulfillment. Give me a card on the Queen of Pentacles and Reverse Holy Spirit. Please and thank you for my beautiful collective sun sheets. We have the Two of Pentacles. Somebody, whoever this Queen of Pentacles is in reverse, they very, I'm telling you, they're very insecure. They they don't have they don't have a lick of creativity, okay? This is somebody that, that that's just all over the place, a manipulator. And they don't like the fact that how you see it right through them, okay? With this Two of Pentacles, this is somebody that's very unbalanced. Um, and this person has a lot going on. This person, one minute they up, one minute they down, okay? This person just unbalanced, okay? Their whole life is. And when they look at you, Sunsees, it's just like, whew. This person is constantly in the head with the moon card, okay? It's a lot of secrets and deceptions and illusions around this person, okay? And you being in tune with the high priestess, you can see that. That's why with the seven of wands, you were able to set up boundaries with the shrimp card, okay? You were able to stand in your shrimp, okay? I mean, you know, realize your power and how strong you were when you had to be strong when it came, sorry, 
Thank you, Spirit. You had to be strong when it came down to dealing with whoever this individual was, okay? Who, when whoever this individual was to you, okay? You had to be very strong. You had to be very courageous, okay? Um, because this person just wasn't real right, okay? There's a lot going on with this person. And this person is very jealous of your life. They're jealous of your life, okay? You had to be very strong when it came to this person. Yeah, somebody don't like the fact that you're a star. Okay, you could be in a public eye, okay? But I feel like when it comes to this person, you're very highly intuitive. Somebody don't like your confidence, how beautiful you are, how strong you are. They don't like it. They, they just don't. Give me a card on the moon card, Holy Spirit, please, and thank you. I didn't want to make this reading too long, but it is. Okay, yeah. The moon card is clarified with the world card and five of wands. It's over. It's over for the jealous family. It's over for these jealous lovers who want to have you in competition. It's over for the gossiping. It's over for the rumors. It's over. It's over for these people. Period, Sunseed. Period. Let me get you guys. Okay, an affirmation before we close this out. It's over for it. Whoever this message is for, enjoy this. This is your happiness. Okay. Let them hate. Let them, let them hate. You didn't wait for an opportunity to come for you. You created it, okay? And, this, and whoever these people is, they just don't have the strength and courage like you do. That's why you a boss. Remember why you started. So Spirit is saying, remember why you started, okay? Remember why you started. Started this journey, okay? Started this, this, this business. Started everything. Remember why you started. Everything, everything you ever wanted is on the other side of fear. Okay. You are the CEO of your life. Hire, fire, promote accordingly. You are the CEO of your life. Hire, fire, and hire, fire, and promote accordingly. Okay. And when it came to your life with this two of wands, you had to make a wise decision. Okay. Promote, hire, and fire. Let people go that no longer serve you to get the success and victory, to get the life that spirit always wanted for you. Okay? Period. I love you, trustees. Okay? Um, I hope this message resonates. Okay? I definitely enjoyed giving you this reading. I think this reading was beautiful. Okay? I love you so much, trustees. You're chosen. There's always going to be some hate, hating ass comments. For a lot of you guys, it starts in your family and then it's these karmic lovers that you end up with until you meet your true king and queen. <laughs>